welcome to another vlogmas slash shop mess. I am in 36th Street, Manhattan, New York, and I'm on my way to visit Simple Retro. I have an appointment at one for a showroom. Simple Retro is a brand that specializes on vintage inspired, and we're gonna stop by and check the dresses, and we're gonna Where take it with me. My appointment is at one and it's like five minutes before one hopefully I'm almost there according to my phone it was like five minutes that was like five minutes ago you know what there's a lot of people so that's why I think that's why I think that I found them I think they are over there looking for 15 West and it says 15 there so I think that's where I'm going nice look at the building all right let's go over there I made it! Yay! I found them and I think that it's going to look beautiful. By the outside, they look really, really cute. Board. Okay. Hi there! <laughs> my style that's why I accepted to come here and check their showroom their pieces are just amazing the quality is really good as well look at this dress I'm gonna ask for that price for this one this skirt is really well made super thick material it has lining and it has elastic here no it's not elastic it, is, it has this zipper and it's $49 it's cute oh guys I'm obsessed with this dress it's so cute look at the finishes the brass bottoms the ruffle the lace is absolutely gorgeous Okay guys, I'm gonna be trying all these because these are the pieces that, I don't know, they're just calling my name, so I'm just going to try them on. Oh my gosh, this one is gorgeous guys, gorgeous. Look at the details. It has this lace and this golden, it's not golden, it's more like brass buttons, these ruffles and lace. The dress has lining here at the bottom. It has a little bit of static because it's a little bit dry here in New York. It has a zipper here on one side, this tie belt to accentuate the waist. And good God that it has a tie belt because this one is size large. So they don't have more sizes here in the showroom. But it doesn't matter. Look, let me show you how it looks. Okay, so it has a little bit of room here for pizza. However, this one is size large. I think that I told you. They don't have smaller sizes, but I'm obsessed with this dress. I think I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, it's so beautiful. The fabric is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Another beautiful dress, guys, with this ruffle. This one is size small. And it has this flowy bottom. I'm wearing my over the nipples. And they look really good with this dress. This dress has lining. You can see my shower there. <laughs> yeah, I think that the size extra small will fit better. But you can fix this with a belt. I mean, it doesn't look bad. What do you guys think? Okay, here the dress with a blazer for a more casual look in case that you want to wear the dress for the office or something like that. This one, this blazer is size medium. It fits a little bit oversized, but if you want to wear this blazer with chunky sweaters, I suggest that you size up. Okay. Oh 
oh my gosh another beautiful dress this one is a neat dress on this midi length it's uh it's very cozy it's size small and i really like this detail here because it's emphasizing the waist and it's just one piece guys but it looks it looks like two right mm -hmm. it looks pretty nice with the over the new boots as well it's super cozy and i don't even like print here the same dress but with the blazer in case that you want to wear it for the office it looks very nice the skirt is size small and wearing shapewear it fits like a glove but there is no room for burger and pizza therefore i think that i will size up to medium i don't know it fits really good like this it fits like a glove but as i told you if i want to eat a lot i'm not gonna have room okay because it doesn't have any elastic here it only has this zipper here okay and then this sweater look at this sweater guys you cannot find this type of sweaters at retail the design is very unique i really love the neckline it's beautiful golden bottoms so so cute oh my gosh guys i'm obsessed with this sweater it is adorable look at the color and the details of the of the bottoms can you see the little roses super stretchy warm and i'm in new york so it's super cold and look at this skirt guys this homestead skirt on this a line this one is size medium if it's me a little bit big i feel that the size is small will fit better it's absolutely gorgeous the material guys i i wish that you can feel the material super thick and it has a line in here it's absolutely gorgeous obsessed with the skirt and it looks really nice with the over the knee boots this is the outfit obsessed with the dresses and they are absolutely gorgeous and cute and so my style like I was grabbing one dress and I was like oh my gosh I like this one and then the new dress oh my gosh I like this one so yeah it's very very cute and the um, you know the environment those girls that were there they were so sweet and so helpful unbelievable and I got a dress guys and this light is not flattering at all i have a light here <laughs> yes on top of the mirror i am heading to 36th street here in manhattan new york and i just came back from uh um what's the name um simple retro simple retro and i went to their showroom and probably you have seen already the vlog i just came back i ate lunch it's it's late for me it's uh 5 p.m right now here in manhattan new york and it's already dark <laughs> i'm used to that i don't know gets dark um, like six seven it's the time that it gets dark in san diego but here is four o'clock and it's already dark outside and it makes me go to sleep no 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 <laughs> i'm gonna show you in a minute this is my super ultra comfy outfit after a long day a long day guys um yeah i'm exhausted but i want to explore and i am on a mission i want to buy the mark jacobs tote bag on leather i want the black color or i want the ivory one I think that I like the black color. 
I didn't bring any bags at all here in Manhattan. I forgot my Prada bag with my passport and the proof of my vaccination in San Diego. Yes, I only have this one and I think that I told you, I have this one that I received for free many, many years ago when I bought a bunch of makeup from Chanel. Right now they're selling that bag for almost, no, almost over a thousand dollars, which is crazy. And that's the only bag that I brought. That bag, I have my laptop and snacks and that's my working slash traveling bag. But I need a bag. <laughs> I feel that I need a bag and what a great excuse to get the Marc Jacobs tote bag that is on my wish list. And yeah, so this is my super non-fancy but super warm outfit. I am wearing this sweatshirt. This one is from Fabletics, 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 and super soft, but it's not enough because it's super cold here. And I put my cashmere sweater from Club Monaco underneath. That's going to keep me warm. And then underneath, I have a t-shirt from H&M. <laughs> so I have layers and layers. I'm wearing these jeans from Express. And then underneath, I have the um, leggings from Caramelin. I'm going to be wearing my Adidas sneakers because they're super comfortable. And my mango coat that is keeping me really warm. Oh, and my Balenciaga hat that is super cool. And it's going to keep my head warm. Let's go and explore what is close by. Before that, let me show you outside. See, I told you it's very dark. Well, not very dark, but it's getting dark. And let's take advantage of this balcony. So beautiful. And I'm on the 19th floor and it's so scary. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. I feel that I'm gonna drop the camera for some reason. Yeah, it's getting dark. Beautiful. All the buildings are just gorgeous. This is my kind of vibe. Okay, so I'm going to start walking. Go to whatever the stores are. And I'm gonna take you with me. I'm going to be wearing the Chanel bag. Yes, just for now, because tomorrow, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow is a day that is just for me, just to explore the city. We're gonna go to Soho for sure, and we're gonna be doing some shopping. Well, hopefully not, but I'm going to stop by the stores and check Chanel and check all those designer brands and see what they have over there. So hopefully I am strong, but that's going to be part of another vlog. In this vlog, we're gonna go to, I don't know where, but I'm going to get my Marc Jacobs tote bag on the leather. All right guys, it's 5 p.m. and it's already dark. It's insane. I need to walk about 15 minutes. It's where Macy's and all the stores are. In fact, I was there this afternoon, or early this afternoon, Oops. at H&M, huge H&M over there. And if you have not seen my vlog about the H&M, Brian Hall here in Manhattan, uh, you should watch it, because I found stuff um, that California, or oh, San Diego doesn't have, and it was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing because they have more designs and they have H&M home. For me it was like, oh my gosh, H&M home. <laughs> I never thought that exists. And yeah, they have H&M home and they have super beautiful stuff. Okay. The Empire State. They have these crimson colors over there at the top. Massive Macy's. 
Look at these windows. So beautiful. Macy's but inside of Macy's we have all these beautiful designer stores wow. is the shoe heaven look Stuart Whitman Steve Madden dupe for the Prada bag. The pocket, not my style. They're very similar. There is a third level. We're gonna go to the third level in this floor. The third level is clothing. Michael Kors is a big thing here in New York. Michael Kurz is everywhere. Yep, bags, shoes, clothing, everywhere. This brand, French Connection, has a really cute designs. Look at this sweater. It's pricey, but the quality is really good. This one is 188, of course. And look at this dress with this uh, shoulder pads cute as well yeah pricey but you know that is high quality they have mango Follow Ralph Lauren. I love everything. In fact, I want to live in this store. The decoration is just on point. Here. I've been searching, I'm searching, and nothing. Don't get me wrong. 